Have you ever heard about language anxiety? And furthermore, have you ever had it? Did you notice that when trying to speak a different language, you were feeling anxious and nervous? I'm Sabrina, I speak six languages that are Russian, French, Arabic, English, Spanish and Chinese. And let me tell you a little bit more about what is it actually language anxiety? Very easy, it's actually in the name. So language anxiety is when you feel stressed, nervous, anxious about learning or speaking a language that is not your native one. So a foreign language. Have you ever heard about language anxiety? And furthermore, have you ever had it? Did you notice that when trying to speak a different language, you were feeling anxious and nervous? Oh, I think I have way too many of those stories because of the languages I speak. I had it in very different environments. So let me tell you a story about how I faced language anxiety and when I had language anxiety. So I have a few of those stories because of the languages I speak. So I had it happening to me in several different environments. The first one was when I was a kid and I was just a little kid who spoke one language as normal kids would do. I was in Russia and everything was fine. And then I got moved to Algeria, which is my dad's country. And I go to school, I'm in this classroom, Arabic language. I understand nothing of what's happening. Everybody is obviously also a first grader, but they're used to speak Arabic at home. They're born with it, which was not my case. So I was the kid sitting at the back of the class crying because I understood nothing of what was happening. And another thing that really stressed me out, and I remember it even though I was only six years old, is when everybody in the classroom was laughing, I always thought that people were laughing at me because I did not understand anything of what was going on. And when I would go back home and I would tell my mom, but everybody's laughing, like, what can I do? I don't understand. And I think it's one of the best advice that she gave me according to my language learning uh, experience was, just laugh with the others, you'll see. Soon enough, you will understand what's happening and you will actually be laughing, understanding. But for now, just laugh and you'll see, it'll get easier for you and you won't be stressed anymore. And she was right. I started doing that and slowly I got to understand what was happening. Obviously, nobody was laughing at me and I got less stressed and it actually helped me to learn faster because the stress was gone. And sure enough, it started getting better when I was just laughing with everyone because I was less stressed and it actually helped me to learn faster because the stress factor was away and I could actually focus during the class and not only thinking about, oh, people are laughing at me. So here's a tip for you. If you are in an environment learning a new language and everybody's laughing, just laugh with them and you will see you will already be part of what's happening, although at that specific moment you don't understand what's happening. Then another story was when I was a little bit older, I was already, I guess, 16 years old and we traveled to Spain uh, with my parents. It was a long month holiday, like we do not do them anymore. And uh, I was already learning Spanish at that moment. And so obviously my parents were like, Sabrina, you can speak. That's your moment. Like you can order something for us. You can ask for directions because it was our first time in Spain. We didn't know our way around. GPS at that time didn't work quite well. So the obvious way to do it is to stop people and be like, uh, where is the shop? Where is the market? And at that moment, my sister was around nine years old. She had never learned any Spanish at all. She just asked me, how do you say orange juice? I told her, sumo de naranja. Okay. Next thing I know, we go to a restaurant. I'm the one who is super shy and I was a lot of an introvert back then. I was very shy to talk to people. I didn't want to say anything in my native language, let alone in a foreign language. And obviously, I didn't want to speak to anyone. The nine-year-old next to me, she was like, por favor, un sumo de naranja. And we all turned around, we're like, what? So she was a kid, she didn't care about being judged. And I was already like in the 16, 17 years where you get a lot more self-conscious, you don't want to be judged, you are a lot more stressed about any situation. And she was just like, well, I know how to say that one sentence, I'll just go with it. So the tip from here is that whenever you're not sure about how do you say it, if you will sound correctly, if the people will understand you, give it a go. You don't know. Maybe actually people will understand you. They for sure understood my nine-year-old sister when she ordered the juice and that was everybody actually looking at us like, 
oh, you speak Spanish. And we're all like, nah, she just learned that one sentence. So don't be shy, just give it a go and it will probably work out. So another famous thing that happens when you're learning a foreign language is a mental block. You might wonder, but what is it actually, a mental block? So it comes from the expression, the writer's block. You know, when you're just in front of what you're writing and you do not know what to add anymore, you're just blocked. So the same things happen when you are trying to learn a new language. Sometimes you cannot just take it anymore. You are facing this block that any extra word would be too much. You can read it again and again and write it and listen to it and it just doesn't go in. You cannot have any more vocabulary, any more pronunciation. It's just done. So something that happened to me for this mental block situation is that I was learning Chinese uh, when I was doing my undergraduate degree in Paris. And we had around four to five hours of Chinese every single week, but the language was actually taught in French, uh, which for me was always an issue because every time I was trying to actually focus only on the Chinese, I would always remember how my professors were trying to teach it to us in French. So the only thing that I would remember is the French meaning, uh, what, how could we say it in French, also for the grammar. So everything I could remember from my lessons was how my teacher and professors tried to explain things to us in French. So that word, the meaning would be this in French, the grammar, which is absolutely the opposite of what happens in French. But I used to have these like comparisons of, okay, so in French, you would say this, in French, you would say that while learning Chinese. So learning a foreign language in another language is not really what can help you with mental block and that's exactly what happened to me after three years of learning Chinese. I arrive in Beijing and I can say nothing. I am completely blocked, anxious, whatever you want to call it. I was just completely lost. I did not know how to ask my way. I did not know how to do anything. And when I started learning Chinese again in China, I had this block because the only way I knew how to learn this language was in French. And so here, when I was actually taught Chinese in Chinese, it was very difficult for me to adapt in the first few months, actually. So the way I was used to learn Chinese was in French. So now that I'm in Beijing and I'm taught Chinese in Chinese, it was very hard for me to adapt at the beginning to not have always this comparison to, and this is how you say it in French, and this is how you say it in English. Our professors even, I took the very beginner class because I was like, okay, might as well just learn everything from scratch to learn it the right way. And our professors made sure to only use English if really she sees the entire class of around 15 people just being like, nobody understanding anything. That was the only time when they learned, uh, when, sorry, they talked to us in English. And I feel this was the best way uh, to be with us, people who are trying to learn a new language. And I think all of us had this block at the beginning because we couldn't just get in the new information because it was too much. It was taught in the foreign language. It was a foreign language. And Chinese of its own, it's such a complicated thing to learn. So everything was a mental block. However, I think one of the ways how I overcame it, it was just to practice as much as I can. At first, it was to read every day, whatever new words we were learning, whatever new sentences we had, like whatever grammar, anything, just do it literally every day. There was no weekend, no time off, just practice, practice, practice. And that's how the mental block for uh, Chinese was gone for me. So if I could do it any differently right now, I would definitely just keep going, even though it got harder, even though I really wanted to give up at that moment because I felt like it was already, it's been already years that I'm studying and I'm not getting, like I don't see the progress that I wanted to, just keep going because when you stop, it's a lot harder to get back to it. Whereas when you keep going, you might face this little down, but then you go up again. And that's kind of how I faced the mental block and how I overcame it. I hope these few tips that I gave you will help you in your learning journey. So remember, if you feel like you are in a room where everybody's laughing at you or judging you or just laughing and you do not understand, just laugh with them. It'll get better. Also, if you are shy and you're not sure if you're saying things correctly, but you actually know deep down that you know how to say it, say it. Don't be shy. It will work out. You'll see. And 
Lastly, when you are facing anything like a mental block, just keep going, never give up because it's when you give up that things go south. So make sure to always continue your learning journey. Si vous suivez tous les conseils que je viens de vous donner, soyez sûr que vous pourrez apprendre de langues étrangères sans aucun souci. Thank you everyone. I hope to see you in the next video and give Glossika app a try. Merci. Au revoir.